Jake Ludington here at Discover 2015 in London, and I've got Ian Fountain with me from National Instrument, and you're holding up a bike. Why is that? Well, uh, we thought it would be fun to build an industrial Internet of Things example, but a lot of times people are a little bit afraid of the concepts of industrial Internet of Things, so we decided to apply the same concepts to a regular bicycle. So what we've done is we've instrumented this bike with about five different sensors that are measuring wheel speed, uh, steering angle, and suspension deflection. And we're acquiring all of that data uh, with National Instruments data acquisition equipment and transmitting the data wirelessly to a Hewlett Packard Enterprise server. And you can look behind us and see, as I change the steering angle, uh, you can actually see that running. There's a website that's sort of the digital version of the bicycle. And that's, that's pretty close to real time based on the way it's changing. Yeah, that's pretty close to real time. Um, you know, considering it has to go through the network and you know actually get displayed on the website, it's, it's pretty close. Uh, we could probably improve that if we really needed to, but this is meant to be a really simple example to show people what Internet of Things is. In this case, the bike is the thing and we're putting the bike on the internet with all these dis different sensors. So, um, so how does that translate to like uh, industrial application? Like you've got a wind turbine example. How, is this the same kind of monitoring just at a, a bigger scale? Yeah, exactly. Uh, this, these sensors are obviously not as precise as you might have on a wind turbine or a electric motor, which might be doing condition monitoring or preventative maintenance purposes. Uh, but it's the same, same concepts. Here we're measuring the data at a much slower rate because things aren't changing as fast as they would be in a wind turbine. Um, but it's the same concept. Put a sensor on the device that you're trying to get under the internet, connect it to the data acquisition equipment, uh, and then have that data acquisition equipment connected up to the compute capability, and you can run analytics, store the data, uh, provide user interfaces to people who might want to see what's going on you know, anywhere around the world. So that's really, in the industrial space, what we're finding is that people are spending less time going out and making measurements manually, and more time actually analyzing the data, which is where they're going to get their cost savings from. That, that sounds like a good thing. Thanks, yeah. Ian. Absolutely. Thank you.